Well, we are here inside Rick D's studio with Matt Carney. We're going to play a little game with him right now called the Holly Wire Hot Seat. I'm going to ask you a series of questions. The first thing that comes to mind, you just answer. Okay. Are you ready for this? Yep. Sunglasses. <laughs> iPhone or Blackberry? iPhone. Your favorite song to sing in the shower? Adele, Fire to the Rain. Golden Grams or Lucky Charms? Lucky Charms. Ultimately, Honey Nut Cheerios. If you weren't a musician, what type of career would you have? I'd build cupboards. Carpenter. <laughs> That's random. Cabinets. I don't know. <laughs> Three things in your touring survival kit. Sneakers, jeans, v-neck, t-shirt. Okay. Ray-Bans. And Ray-Bans? Not a toothbrush or... Hell no. You don't need a toothbrush. You got my finger. <laughs> Read the book or see the movie? Read the book. Favorite Always. book? The Road. Cormac McCarthy. Okay. The first concert that you ever went to? The Nylons. Singing in the jungle. They were like the... A wimbo way, a wimbo way. In the jungle. The mighty jungle. Yeah. <laughs> Most random song on your iPod? Party in the USA. Miley Cyrus. Is that random? Or... That is, that is random. Or... Don Peril singing a coyote song and he yips like a coyote in it. It's like an old country song. Huh. What about your favorite song? He sings like a coyote, though. Just can saying. you, and you can't demonstrate? A yip. It's pretty funny. He does that a bunch. <laughs> <laughs> your favorite snack food on tour? Salt and vinegar, kettle chips. The Beatles or the Rolling Stones? Uh, Rolling Stones these okay. days. If you could tour with any three bands, dead or alive, who would you pick? Beatles, Rolling Stones, <laughs> and Tribe Called Quest. Q-Tip, call me. Okay. Q-Tip, shout out. Yeah, what up? Goonies or Back to the Future? Goonies because it was filmed in my home state of Oregon on the really? beach in Cannon Beach. So even though that's hard for me to say because Back to the Future is like the hover skateboard. and Well, that's Back to the Future too, actually. But Back to the Future really spoke to me. The Goonies. Hey, you guys. Yeah, yeah. What about your favorite lyric that you've ever written? I had a song called Annie where I said, sometimes the hardest things are the dreams that we've been given. I like that one. It's true. Yeah, it I think true. it's true. Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, in the spirit of the new album, what's the best lesson that you've ever learned about young love? Um, besides that it exists, because you can forget that sometimes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it takes work to get back to young love. I like that. It's, it's a good true. lesson. Well, thanks again. How do you feel? You survived the Hollywire hot seat. That wasn't so bad, yeah. It wasn't so bad? No. What about your game? I thought you were going to... Uh, paper or plastic? Both. Okay, that was my game. <laughs> uh, for more entertainment news, head to hollywire.com or find the link at rick.com and make sure to pick up his new album, Young Love, August 2nd. August 2nd. I'll meet you there. <laughs>